Hey guys, what's going on? Justin Boss Nasty Silva representing Call of Duty Esports, man. We are here at MLG Dallas. So excited to be here, man. We're standing in front, off to the side, kind of north, east, southwest angle of the Total Beach booth. I am here with Sir. What's your name and what do you do here at Total Beach? Michael Ars. I'm with uh, the marketing department, marketing and partnerships. Is this your guys' first time at an MLG event? No, absolutely not. It's our first time with a booth at an MLG event because we wanted to wait until our new product, the XP7, was actually available. But um, yeah, we've been supporting MLG for a while now. We uh, had our tournament gear, the, the TM1 tournament mixer, and the control units for the seven in, in last uh, event at Dallas. And then we were also in Raleigh um, doing some behind closed doors, sort of um, focus group type stuff. So we've been working up to this you know, for a while now. So here today um, at MLG, we are actually demoing the XP7s, which is, uh, okay. so you can, you know, a, a, a gamer can come in, give us a credit card, we'll take an imprint, fill out a form, you know, borrow, borrow the headset for the day, use it in the tournament, okay. and uh, hopefully enjoy it enough to want to go to the pro shop and go buy one. It's like a, a rental. Exactly. That, exactly. that is genius. I, so okay. We've got a product that <laughs> yeah. when people, okay. people try it, like anything else, you know, they're, they're going to want to buy it. So, you know, we're all excited about it. It's, it's the, you know, this combined with the control unit is the most technologically advanced gaming headset ever created. This thing, um, it's a component system. It's designed for obviously the elite gamer, but you know, it's something that you can use at home and just love as well. And it's also super versatile. It comes with a series of different plugs that plug in and out, so you can use it on your phone. I, I happen to have the, uh, the. Uh, mobile cable connected which has a multi-function button oh, so all these different cables come in the they come in the package you can also be connected to your phone while you're gaming someone calls you you know your girlfriend calls you while you're gaming you don't have to stop gaming you can answer the phone talk while you're nice. still gaming yeah okay, it's pretty a cool multi channel but uh, simultaneous kind of going exactly it's a, it is the, the control unit has the circuitry within that lets it happen wow. um, and then you know the control unit also has all kinds of different presets and settings okay. what we call uh, audio mods so you can control um, inbound and outbound chat you know, both volume and sound effects and things like that. You can also control um, and upload and download different presets. You can make your own presets that will let you have things like footstep focus or focus on, um, you know, reloads or, you know, bring down the explosions, all kinds of different things that will let you customize the audio for, you know, to maximize the competitive advantage, basically. This headset right here. We call the line the 7, and there's different versions of it, but for MLG Pro Circuit, there is an XP7 and a Z7. Okay. The difference is the XP7 is for consoles okay. and everything else. Okay. The Z7 gets rid of the console connection, so you can save 30 bucks, and but it still has all the components and all the different things. And everything is available for the first time at the uh, MLG Pro Shop. We've never been able, these literally just came in, first batch yeah. from China. They're, um, you know, but they're out there. And, you know, like I said, we've got the, the free demos here yeah. all weekend. So people have been taking them and going to compete with them. And like I said, hopefully that turns into, man, I got to get one. Yeah. I've never seen Astro do that. I've never seen a Trident do that. And I just want to ask, how did that come about? I mean, what, what was the idea behind the whole renting to buy? The idea behind that was really, so going way back in ancient history, my career, I started in the ski and snowboard business. And you go skiing and snowboarding, and you know you go to the mountain, and Burton or K2 is there that day demoing snowboards. It's the same thing. Hey, you try my snowboard, you're gonna want it. Yeah. So that's kind of the, the theory, and it works the same way. You know, you take an imprint of the credit card. Yeah. If they if they walk off with your headset, that's true. you charge their yeah. credit card. If yeah. they don't, you know, they bring it back, and hopefully they go buy a fresh one. Kind of like renting a Netflix movie. <laughs> exactly, kind of okay. like that. Yeah. I think the reception's probably gonna be great for that. I mean, actually allowing them to try the headset out for the for the weekend or is it just for the day? Well, it, you just come back each day and, okay. and re up. Yeah, you can you can have it all weekend okay, cool. in theory if you just get here early enough. And, and I'll make sure I come back because I would just love to hear about what the receptiveness of oh, that is. The line was huge. I mean, I, I don't think we have too many left. So really? and it's you know halfway through the day. So yeah, it's oh yeah, it's been good. You know, working with MLG, we've been seeding a bunch of you know complete sets to you know a lot of teams. So there's a bunch of Call of Duty teams that have uh, you know Optics got them and a couple of others. So um, you know you're you're gonna see them up. Hopefully on the main stage, right? In oh, yeah. the no, awesome. We're also we also have our Call of Duty earbuds working on the main stage okay. too. So. How long has Turtle Beach uh, been around? When did y'all decide to start kind of transitioning to get more into esports? So okay, so great great question. So Turtle Beach is an audio company. We've been around since the 70s. We were founded in 1975. We got our start in synthesizers. We've always been in electronic yeah. music and audio. We started with synthesizers. We built up to um, music software and, and sound cards and things like that. That evolved into um, 
streaming music players and things like that. And then um, the headset thing, we actually created the, the, the concept of a gaming headset. There had always been PC headsets, you know, that had mics and things, but we created the gaming headset and we were actually the original Turtle Beach headset sponsor years ago. And we walked away from that because we realized that we were in a real niche environment and we couldn't service, you know, what this environment needs versus what, you know, Joe Public needs in his in his um, living room are very different. And we also saw that that was the opportunity is build headsets for Xbox and PlayStation gamers that work in their living room. And then once we built up to critical mass and we built up to the market leadership that we have now, we were able to revisit and come back to this environment and say, all right, now we've got the money and the knowledge and the expertise and the brand that we can build the headset we've always wanted to build. Okay. And like I said, this is the most advanced gaming headset ever. And working with MLG to perfect it and, de and define it and partner with them on the, you know, the audio products, the TM1 mixer and, and you know, all that. We've built the ultimate sort of prosumer product for esports and for uh, you know companies like Twitch or using our boxes and things like that. So it, it's you know, it, but it was one of those things that was very important for us to get back into and always get back to you know if you're going to be a leader, you've got to have something for every segment of the market and you know have the best of the best available. How much of an impact was? consumer feedback or more or better yet esports feedback as well i mean we've we've done i mean there's a lot of people in our company with esports experience so that that was important um then there's also a lot of research that we do you know we seeded these we had early prototypes of these we did like i said in raleigh we did that focus group where we had people coming in trying and we we took them through a demo of it. And this was pro players? Or? Pro players, anybody who okay. can't, both pro players and, um, you know, esports fans okay. come in, bring in, you know, but everybody who comes to this event is a pretty hardcore fan or or gamer. And we took them through, and then at the end, they filled out a survey, we had a QA, and a we took feedback, you know, that, that one that we had that day, you know, those days in Raleigh, okay. is very different than the finished product because we took a lot of feedback. We had a very different headband, We've, we had a more plasticky headband that clamped a lot more, and, and you know, we went back to the softer headband, you know, for a number of reasons, for you know, for comfort and looks and, and, and all that. So you know, we very much listen to the fans, and you know, and you know, even the guys who we're seeding stuff to now, you know, we're going to listen. And even you know, we did one for for Black Ops. We did the Sierra, which is based on this, and the Sierra is a lot more like the one we were showing in Raleigh. This one is much improved over the Sierra, which came out in in October for uh, in time for Black Ops, but. Uh, Black Ops 2, but um, you know, so we're going to continue to evolve these and make them better. And you know, it, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on. There's new consoles coming. There's, you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on. But um, you know, it's important for us as the leader to stay out there and keep pushing and keep, okay. keep uh, you know, progressing and keep making advancements. And that's you know, part of what we do. I mean, look, there's a lot of good products out there. Yeah. We just feel like, you know, we do what everything we can to make the best products, and that's that's what it's about. Okay. And, and, and make the best products for the fans. We yeah. want you know the, the the gamers to to want the Turtle Beach products, yeah. and and that's what it's about. You know, Astro Gaming has always been kind of on that forefront of hey, we make competitive gaming headsets for a competitive gamer. What is Turtle Beach doing? to kind of change because I mean for me like for example I used to look at like Turtle Beach as oh you know well it's a good headset but I don't know if I would use that in tournament competitions is that what this headset pretty much was designed for that to be that this is. that's okay. what this is I mean you know I'm not gonna talk, say anything good or bad about anybody else I mean those guys have done a good job being Astro right so they do a good job of what they do and you know and 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 they were here for a few years but now we're here you know we were here before them we went away, they were here, now we're back. They're always going to have, you know, their fans and we're always going to have our fans. But I think, you know, the proof is in the pudding. I mean, we're an audio company, like I said. We've been in the business since 1975. That's 37 years. You know, Astro makes a cool product. They're a design studio and their stuff, you know, has a design, a real nice design to it. Um, but like I said, our products do things that theirs can't. And, you know, and that's just... But, but you know, look. Did we look at what they did? Of course, we look at what every we look at what everybody does. Um, but ultimately, we made some decisions based on what we knew and what we thought would be best to come out with, you know, the best possible product. So, you know, we stand, you know, behind this, and we know that, you know, the MLG guys from Sundance on down to, you know, the the lowest guy, they love this product. They've been listening to it, and you know, I invite you to do what everybody else is doing. Demo demo one. Go listen to it. Listen to it on your phone. Listen to it on our demo station, talk to people out there, the thing sounds 
awesome. I mean, we, we know this is the best sounding headset we've ever made. Why they should try the headset at the very least? One, because we make it easy. And look into their eyes when you one, say. One, we make it easy. But two, we are number one in gaming for a re gaming audio for a reason. We make the best headsets. We are an audio company. That's all we do. We don't mess with keyboards. We don't mess with mice. We don't mess with other accessories. It's all about audio, and it's all about great audio, and it's all about XP7 if you want the cutting edge. That's all I can say. Accessories and, and, and electronics. We've got over 30 models. We've got two seven models. We've also got an $80 model about to come out called the PX22. It's also an MLG headset. Um, that's for a more entry-level gamer, but it'll work. It'll work perfectly with all the stuff that's here. Um, you can answer the phone with that one also. So you know, it, 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 it's all about versatility. It's all about um, you know, we don't want people to leave their Turtle Beaches home anymore and put on a, somebody else's to leave the house. If Skull Candy is the headset for, for skateboarders and snowboarders, and Bose is the headset for traveling businessmen, yeah. and Beats is the headset for you know hip-hop and basketball. Yeah. We're the headset for gamers and, and, and headphones for gamers. And like I said, we've got a super versatile product here that sounds better than any of those and um, is more advanced and you know, just a better product from our perspective and does more things that a gamer needs them to do than anything else will. Is there anything new coming out from Turtle Beach maybe people can expect any hints at? Man, this one just came out. These are these are these are literally off off the FedEx truck from you. China. Hot off the press. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, this is hot off the press. We just announced these guys at CES in January. These aren't even in the store yet. The only place you can buy these right now is here at MLG Dallas. Um, you know, other stuff. I mean, if you're buying stuff, if you're watching this and you're coming down. These also have the swappable speaker plates. Yeah, I saw. I was going to ask about the speaker tags. Apparently, here I've yeah. got my boy um, Zero from Borderlands 2. Okay. But if you buy a headset here, we've got commemorative, um, you know, Dallas plates. Okay. Commem limited, you know, while supplies last, limited edition Dallas plates here. Um, and you know, at every stop we go, whether it's here or PAX or the next MLG, we'll always have those limited edition plates for people to buy to commemorate, you know, where they bought their first seven. Yeah. So that's going to be fun too. And we're also going to have an online store where you'll be able to, oh. you know. Know, upload your your team's logo okay, or or buy yeah customize put your gamer tag on buy a Call of Duty one buy a Borderlands 2 one maybe you know games you know stuff like that or just designs you know eventually you'll be able to design one what is it like working with Turtle Beach I mean what, what if, if you had to kind of did like sum up Turtle Beach why you like working for them what attracted you to Turtle Beach well look I've been in I've been in entertainment and and you know what I always call male focused enthusiast niches my whole career so I've been in like I said I've been earlier I've been in action sports I've been in TV I've been in entertainment I've been in music and um, you know, and, and actually in, in eSports, I ran the U.S. World Cyber Games for three years. So I came here because I thought that I could make a difference, and it, you know, I hope I have. I think I have. I've done a, a lot of, uh, of big deals, including this Major League Gaming deal. And, um, you know, it's all about the gamers, and it's all about being authentic, and it's all about, you know, just, you know, for us, it's not about, you know, clobbering people over the head with our message. It's like, come try our stuff and it'll sell itself. And that's, like I said, what this demo program is about. And, um, you know, having a partner like MLG who cares just as much as we do is, you know, is we couldn't ask for more. And make sure you check out their headsets. If you are ever coming to an MLG event, I'm assuming this gonna renting yeah. is going to keep going on. Man, Absolutely. I think that's amazing. I've never seen a headset company do that before. You can actually rent the headset each day. You can try it's it free. out. It's a free rental. It's just, yeah, just you steal it, we're going to charge you 150 bucks. It's like Netflix, right? Yeah. Exactly. So that's kind of how it works. But, man, I love you it. You don't want to steal one that's a demo. You want to get a fresh one. Shoutouts, plugins. Where can people find out more about Turtle Beach products and the awesomeness you guys are doing? Well, of course, turtlebeach.com or facebook.com slash turtlebeach. We have Twitter. We have all that stuff. So, you know, follow it. We have a real solid fan base, real engaged. And, um... You know, get out there. You can find these headsets at any place that sells gaming. Big things Turtle Beach is doing upcoming in the future. Make sure you check out their booth if you're here around MLG Dallas. If you're coming to future MLG events, make sure you check out their booth. They're doing big things, man. And lastly, I'm JBNS, man, representing Call of Duty Esports, man. We're out. We'll catch you on a bit. Gamer Grub is available at these fine retailers.